Yo, what's up guys, Mike Red Fox. I know it's been a while, but I've been very busy behind the scenes getting rid of all my GPUs and moving them out here to the garage. <laughs> Let's take a look. So I've been very busy moving everything out of the basement where it's just been way too hot this summer. And I've moved almost everything out here in the garage. So we'll go through some of this stuff, get you guys updated, and then we'll head back down the basement to see what's left down there. But the thing I had to do first was run some extra power. So in there, that's capable of doing 125 amps now, because I ran this cable all the way from the basement up to the sub panel. So I got three 30 amp circuits in there and a 20 amp 240 volt circuit in there as well. We'll go through airflow first, and then we'll go through some of the rigs that I have out here. So you can see I have an AC infinity fan out there, shutter fan, and you can see right now in the garage, it's 91 Fahrenheit, 55% humidity. GPUs are really happy in here. And I have a screen door that I put on the back entrance, you can see there. So that's my passive intake. So all the cool air is coming in through there, going over the rigs, and then ultimately up and out that window. And I have room, I can put another shutter fan right there, which I think I'll do soon. So I ran the three 30 amp circuits. You can see them up on the ceiling there. And then I have this that I ran for a table saw, which is now a 20 amp, 240 volt. And that's hooked up to that octo miner that you see there. Sorry, I know it's a mess out here. I still got some cleaning to do. So actually let's start there. So this is the 3090 rig. There's seven 3090s in there in this Octominer X8. You can see the performance we're getting right there. So that's doing really well. And then we'll start up here. That's my 653060 rig. You can see that card and the one next to it are giving me some issues with fans, so I gotta work on that. Uh, mining Ethereum, actually everything in here is mining Ethereum. Uh, I got the Jazz Miner still mining Ethereum. That's going strong there. 12 card, 3070 rig is up next. And there's gonna be a cards that need maintenance on here too. I'll try to call those out. I've taken a lot of them off. Uh, and then this rig down here is a 12 card rig. It's a mix of 3060 Ti's and 3070's that you see here. And then this is one of my favorite rigs. These are all 6700 XT's. I can see right there. So that's the first rack, and then I put a display out here so it's really easy to troubleshoot anything that I need to. Moving on to the second rack up there, I just put this rig up there. That's a mix of 6700 XTs and 5700, seven of them up top there. This is my one of my favorites. This is the 12 card 3070 Octominer rig. Some of my older rigs, you got eight by 1660 TIs and a mix of supers and the same thing down below. Underneath that, this is a mix. There's some 3080s on there, um, a 3090 TI on there and a 3070 TI on there. Underneath that, I don't even remember what's in there. I think those are 6600s in the Crypto Cavern server case. Most of those fans on that case are dead, but the GPUs are still really cool. And then underneath that is the mine shop. It's a 12 GPU server case that currently has six 3070 Ti's in it. And you may have seen, I have a couple of these mini ASIC miners. One of them's a Cadena. The other one's a Doge miner I have over there. And then all the way on top here, you can see the iPolo miner. That's mining ETC. I have a video on that. I'll link it up in the card above. So everything is on Ethereum except those little mini ASICs. Um, and everything's doing really well out here. You can see, again, the, the power situation. I got these PDUs maxed out. 12 amps on one bank, 11 amps on the other. You can go up to 24 with the 80% rule. Over here, I'm at 12 on one, 10 on the other. And then on this last one, I still have some room, so I'm at 10 amps total, so I can, that can go up to 24. 
Um, but I am running short on outlets on that one. I only got two left. And then my network situation, I got to upgrade. I have another switch I got to bring out here because I just maxed out this switch, which everything is hardwired that can be. And that's all coming back to Ethernet I ran from the basement into here a while ago. Uh, that's a Wi-Fi Unify wall-mounted switch there. So overall, everything's really condensed and airflow works really well with everything coming from there through these rigs. They, they stay much cooler than I thought they would. Um, everything is in the mid 60s or below, even with the garage being at that 92 degrees. The only thing I've been concerned about, which I'll have to keep an eye on, is humidity. In the basement, I run a dehumidifier, which keeps everything nice. I might have to do something similar out here. Time will tell. Um, I have another rig or two I can move out here. Might have to put another rack in, I'm not really sure. Um, still have some room for another 30 amp circuit out here. And I still have all the ones that I ran in the basement if I wanna put some rigs down there. So that is the tour. I think that's everything in the garage. I know it's really loud out here. So why don't we head down the basement? I'll talk about what's still left down there um, and some future plans that I have. All right, back in the basement. So let me show you the one rig that is still down here. And I'll tell you why. So we'll head over to the annex here. So I have, this is, how many cars are on this? I think this is six. Yeah, it's my six card 3080 Ti rig. So that's down here because the memory temperatures on that run really hot. And you can see I have this industrial fan blowing over it because I just have not had the chance to replace thermal pads, especially on those EVGA cards that are a pain in the butt from what I've seen. So that's been down here. And my biggest concern was getting all of this stuff, which was now, which was in the grow tent, which is now doing nothing, is that it was still killing my AC during this really hot summer. Um, because regardless of whatever I did, I mean, these are sucking air, you know, out of my house and sending it out that basement window. Um, so no, no matter what, like the ambient temperature down here was getting too hot. It was sucking some AC out. So moving it into the garage is really the best thing I could do. Um, but I'm still worried about this rig being out there because with those memory temperatures, so I figure I'll leave one down here. I know it's still creating quite a bit of heat, but it feels really nice and cool in this basement. You can see 75 degrees compared to the 95 or 100 it used to be in that area. A um, couple other things, I mean, this is a, a whole rig that's not working in that mine shop case. I think the power supply might be dead. I still have to test it out. But there's, I don't even know, eight 6600 XTs I think are in there. And then I got GPUs that just need maintenance. Uh, stacks of them there, a couple stacks there, and I still have other GPUs that are just, you know, waiting to get mining. Um, and then this one bums me out. I've had these for a while, but that's A2000s still in the box that I gotta get going. But I'm ready to do it. I know Ethereum mining is coming to an end real soon, but there will be other things to mine just like there always has been. Um, so I'm not going anywhere. Oh, and then those are eight uh, 580s chilling over there. I don't, I don't really think I'm gonna do anything with them. So that is pretty much the update. Uh, what's cool is I still have all of the power I ran down here. So I still have two 30 amps over here. I have the 30 amp over there with the meter box. Um, so I can, as the winter approaches, still put some rigs down here to help heat my house. Um, and it's still easy to test rigs and expand. I, I have a 200 amp panel back there all the way far in the corner. Um, and I'm not maxed out yet for even mining. So still have some room to go. I think the thing I'm thinking about right now is when we switch off Ethereum, as long as everything's still relatively profitable over my electric rate, um, some of these other algorithms are gonna take more power, which is really gonna require a lot of load balancing for my current setup. Uh, and I'm, that's something I'm thinking about, but cross that bridge when we get there. Hope you guys enjoyed this little update. Told you I've been busy. Uh, hope I didn't scare you that I sold all my GPUs in the beginning. I didn't, and I still got some work to do, but I think that's it for me in this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button if you did. Sub to the channel for more GPU mining content. 
Join my Discord if you want to chat. Links in the description below, uh, as well with any social media links. And as always, take care of yourself. Take care of each other. And I'll see you in the next video.